Welcome into Hitting Hard with John Chuckery here on Locked On Sports Atlanta. Today on the show, Bob Dylan sang, the times they are changing. Up next, Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, Locked On Sports Atlanta. This is Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, part of Locked On Sports Atlanta. And it starts now. Hitting Hard is brought to you by Bet Online. Head to youtube.com, put Locked On Sports Atlanta into your search browser, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment. We are free and available to download on all of your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. Roku and Amazon Fire. Yes, you can check us out on those platforms as well. And then follow me on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. Well, Bob Dylan saying the times they are a changing. So on a day when Travis Schlenk stepped down from the president of basketball operations, handed over day-to-day duties to Landry Fields, on a night when the Atlanta Hawks lost a tip-in buzzer beater and fall to 16 and 16, and oh, by the way, they're six and nine over this 19 game stretch. Remember the remember the 19 games that we looked at, okay, from the Sacramento Queens the day before Thanksgiving to the end of the calendar year, you know, the the Hawks could take advantage of this and, you know, maybe 13 and 6, you know, come out on top and and you know, maybe move the 10 games above 500 because there were three games at the time above 500. So maybe work themselves into 10 games above 500. Yeah, none of that's none of that's happening. So the Hawks fall to 16 and 16. And on a night where you know Trey Young is, you know Trey Young, he's he's having his worst three-point shooting season uh in his career. He's shooting it from two-point land basically the lowest percentage of his career. Um, John Collins, <laughs> John Collins has scored, John Collins scored 24 points and 23 points in the first two games of the season. He's had one 20 point game since then. All these things are falling apart and <laughs> it's no wonder that Tony Ressler didn't want to move in the luxury tax. Now, look, Do I think Nate's going to get fired or there's going to be trades and this, that, and the other? Probably yes to all of this. You know, Nate McMillan is sort of dead man walking. You know, a NBA league executive said that, quote, unquote, it's a toxic situation right now with the Atlanta Hawks. Whew. Um, This wasn't the way it was supposed to go. And Nate McMillan is probably dead man walking. I mean, by March, maybe not even, maybe by the all-star break, we could see a coaching change. I do think that we're going to see some player movement. But it's no wonder that Tony Ressler didn't go into the luxury tax. You know, to be really good and to make a move up in the standings and to be a championship caliber team, you have to get into the luxury tax. I mean, there's just, there legitimately is no way around it. And the Hawks are $1.8 million. If they had kept Kevin Herter, they would be in the luxury tax. And once you dip your toe into that water, it's hard to get out. You, you know, it, it's uh, until you just hit a complete rebuild, dump salary, this, that, and the other, Until you do that, it's hard to get out of the luxury tax pool. So you're either in it or you're not. And to be a championship caliber team, you have to you have to swim in those waters. So Nate potentially being gone, I think that they're going to make a couple of moves. I think John Collins is a likely candidate. 
I think Bogey Bogdanovich is a likely candidate. I think Clint Capella is a is a likely candidate. I think that there are more than just one move to shake this franchise up. Now, they're not going to trade Trey Young. They're 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 not going to they're not going to move on from him. And and frankly, you know, uh, teams can't. You know, it, it's hard to take on a fifty million dollar salary, and you can only have a maximum maximum amount of max players say that five times real fast maximum amount of max players when you make a trade so the idea of trading trey young probably isn't realistic but i think in the next year or two that they could explore those options and you know depending on how things work out for this franchise there could be some wholesale changes. I, I just I just have this sneaking suspicion that Tony Wrestler is going to make some moves. And coaching, roster, he's going to leave it to Landry Fields. You know, the winds of change are sweeping through the organization. And, it, and if you're not in it to win it, you know, if you're if you're not competing for a championship, because right now the Hawks have the I believe it's yeah the number nine seed, and, and they're tied with Miami and Indiana and all that. But but they that they they sit at the number nine seed. That isn't where we thought the Hawks would be. You know, we projected you know top four or five seeds. You know, separating yourselves. In a down Eastern conference, I mean, you know, three teams are, are 500. Um, a whole handful of teams are below. Look, Chicago is below 500. Toronto is below 500. So you, you got some breaks, but this hasn't gone the way that the Hawks envisioned it. And so I think there are going to be some sweeping changes coming through the organization. Nate McMillan said last night, they played flat. We heard all the same stuff last year. Defensive effort, you know, this, that, and the other. And, and it's the same old story. It's injuries. It's lack of performance. It's they played flat. You know, it, it's the same old story. And that's why I think it's getting old for Tony Wrestler to just go down this pathway. You know, he made the big move to get DeJounte Murray in this on this squad, okay? He rolled the dice that, okay, we had a hiccup, you know, things didn't go out, you know, go well, but there was a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel that they they played well in the in the um uh play-in tournament and then they got, you know, rolled in the first round. Okay, they, they were they were not as good as the Miami Heat. And so all of that being said, they trade for DeJounte Murray, they stand pat on John Collins, and they they bring back you know most of their roster, save for a few players. They upgrade, they they didn't dip their toe in the luxury tax. So they kind of straddled that line. Well, now it's 32 games in. You're headed toward the halfway point. I think change is going to be coming. And I think it's coach. I think it's players. I think Trey Young is safe. I think DeJounte Murray is safe. But outside of that, nobody is safe in this organization. Landry Fields is safe. The the, the move to go on from Travis Schlenk, that, that's a business decision. That That's... Collect a paycheck, advise me, but you're not part of the day-to-day -day operations. So expect change sooner rather than later as we're moving to the halfway point and we're getting near the trade debt. Well, I mean, February is the trade. The first week of February is the trade deadline out there. I expect the, Hawk to make, the Hawks to make some big changes. All right, we uh, want to talk about my friends over at Bet Online. Listen, BetOnline.net is your number one source for all of your sports wagering information. Look, it's very simple. Take that mobile device, 
head to betonline.net. When you put betonline.net in to your phone, check out all of the information that they have, podcast news, stats, scores, this, that, and the other, making you a smarter sports better. And then get in on the action. You want NBA, you want college basketball, you want NHL, wrapping up the regular season of college or uh, 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 NFL football. You're getting into bowl games and, and meaningful bowl games, right? You think that Georgia's a touchdown favorite over Ohio State? Good. Put some money on it. So head to betonline.net. Check out all of the latest information that they have available to you and then get in on the action. All your all your different sports that you can that you can muster up. You can get on you can get in on all of the action. betonline.net is where the action starts. <laughs> 